All right, guys, how you doing? All right, got a couple of rustlers here. This one's a Rustler XL5 brushed. This one here is a brushless VXL. And they might look quite similar, actually, and they are, but there's a few differences. So we're gonna unbox both and have a little look, see what the differences are, and see which one's probably more worth for you to buy. All right, let's start off on the brushed one first. Let's get this off to the side. All right, so we've got the radio. This one's just a TQ. You can't put a Bluetooth module in this one, so it's just a pretty basic, what you get, what you get. All right, here's the rustler. Comes with a battery pack installed, everything ready to go. It even comes with, and here's a little pack of stuff. Comes with some shock spacers, charger. It's only a car charger. You have to chuck it into your cigarette light socket. Optional gearing. Stickers, instructions, all that nonsense. So that's pretty much that one unboxed. All right, and now we're gonna check out the VXL. All right, so you get the instructions, you get your same in-card charger, your tool set, your, your shock absorber stuff. Get pretty much the same stuff in that pack. Transmitter on this one, you, got, you can put your Bluetooth module in here. You've got a bit more functions. TSM as well, so you get your active, whatever the hell it's called. It's called something. Traxxas Stability Management. That's what that stands for. So you've got all that. Uh, inside, it is pretty much similar. You've got your brushless motor. It still comes with same battery pack, 3000 milliamp, nickel metal hydride. I'm, I'm just gonna get rid of that straight away. All right, let's get these things side by side and see what they look like. All right, so from body shell point of view, just looking at it like this, they look pretty much the same. You've got a slight different colouring wheels. You've got sort of this grey colour wheels on this. This one just comes with just plain chrome. Turn it round and look at it at the back. You can see this one's got a, a motor guard, this one hasn't. Underneath. They look pretty much the same, not much, not much difference there other than that motor mount, motor guard thing. So let's get these off. Inside, they still look fairly similar. Like, there's not much difference there really, it's got the same shocks. That feels exactly the same. All right, so they look almost the same. Shocks, the same. Chassis, the same. Comes with the same battery in there, the 3000 milliamp. Seven cell, nickel metal hydride, NIMH. Got your same receiver box, you've got the same color plastics. Shock towers look exactly the same. Actually on the VXL, you get these hex screws. Whilst on the XL5, you've got Phillips. And that definitely, definitely is a nicer touch to have the hex screws. Obviously you've got your different motor and ESC. Uh, what else have we got this different drive shafts? They look exactly the same. Bearings. XL5 comes with bushes. VXL comes with ball bearings. And also if you look at these top links, look. On the XL5, they're solid links. You can't adjust your camber or any of that. On the VXL, they're turnbuckles. So you can adjust all your towing, all, all that nonsense. I'm a basher, so it doesn't really affect me much, all that. Uh, steering turnbuckles. The brushless one's got slightly thicker ones. And another difference, if you look on the front here, on the brushless one, we've got an extra chassis brace, or a bulkhead stiffener thing, that goes across the front there, XL5. Hasn't got that. Tires feel exactly the same. This one does about 70 mile an hour. This one probably, I don't know, probably 30, maybe 40 if you're lucky. Here's your transmitters. They look fairly similar, but TSM on this one, you can put a Bluetooth module in the back. This one, you can't do any of that. It just is what it is. Spur gear, XL5. We're running a 90 tooth spur. On the VXL, we're running a 83 tooth spur. Pinions are probably different as well. But the gearbox is the same. Your drive shafts are the same. Your hubs are the same. I mean, you could convert this one, you could buy this one first 
And then later on, if you want more speed, you can convert it to the brushless. But it's gonna end up costing you a lot more doing it that way. I mean, we're looking at, in English money, we're looking at 209 pound recommended retail for this um, XL5. And the brushless one, we're looking at 390, no, 359. So we're looking at 150 quid more for this one, which I would say, definitely worth it. If you think you get your better transmitter with a TSM, you've got your brushless, you've got bearings all round, you've got your adjustable turnbuckles, the extra strength, the hex screws. So all round, if you've got an extra 150 quid to spare, definitely go with this one. If you're on a bit of a budget and maybe you're giving it to your kid for his first RC, brushed is perfect and you can slowly upgrade it. You know, you can get a bearing kit, you can later on put your brushless ESC in there and stuff. And it hasn't got to be a Traxxas one, you could put a castle in there or a hobby wing, anything you like really. I'm not gonna do a running comparison, so I don't wanna waste this one. But this one here, that's, that's my one. This is the one I'm gonna have. And we're gonna upgrade this, we're gonna beat the living crap out of it and we're gonna see what breaks. And then we're gonna do the same as the X-Max. Bits that break, we'll try and upgrade it. Bits that are strong, we'll leave. And hopefully over the course of a few months, we're gonna end up with a hardcore RC car, just like my X-Max. Guys, I'm not putting alloy on it. Maybe hubs, if I'm gonna alloy it up, so far, apparently the hubs might be a bit of a weak spot. I might alloy them, but arms, no chance. Shock towers, that's probably gonna get the RPM treatment if they break. But I don't know, I don't know much about these yet. Shocks are gonna probably need something doing to them. Well, that's what the hobby's all about. Crashing, bashing, fixing, modifying, putting a big grin on your face, that's the main thing. Just do what you wanna do. If you're an alloy guy, you wanna put alloy on your truck, put it on. If it makes you grin bigger, put your alloy on. Do what you like, I don't care, just have fun. That's all you gotta do, have a laugh. All right. all right guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your buddies, hit that bell button and stay notified. All right guys, that's all, that's all, that's all I got for you. Get out of here. See you later.